Good morning, peeps. It's Jadana from Jadana's Designs. Hope you're all well, and I hope you're watching this. I was just thinking, hmm, good way to start things. I haven't got gloves. So, if you go me, give me a moment, I'll get gloves. Right, gloves. I have a lovely, dirty, spilly, roundy paw today. I have... Oh, one of the cats just jumped off a chair and ran away. This is my pillow of black, which is Bastion Carbon Black, which I'm going to put down and then put the other colors on top of it. I'll start with red. This is Bastion's Pyrrol Red, mixed with Bastion's... Um, it's a paint conditioner, they don't claim that it's Floetrol. So one has to actually put something in to get cells, which is fine. Um, you just add some silicone or whatever. Then I've got this, which is like a bit of a, like a melon color, which is by Ar Arteza. Um, it's called fiery red. It doesn't look too red to me, but they say so. So fiery red is like pinky orange. Then I've got another best in paint, but it's a, it's a neon paint. Um, it's just very bright really, so I mean who's going to be looking at my paintings with no light on in the middle of the night? Nobody. So this is the neon paint that's a glow-in-the-dark paint then I've got this Lucas lemon yellow and I can tell you with this I actually had to add a little bit of white and then a little 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 bit of orange because it was just too how can I say this? It was just too lemon. It was too, it was always going towards a greeny lemon colour, which I didn't want. So to get this colour, I had to add a little bit of white and a dash of this Lucas Orange, which is what I have for the next colour. It's yeah, it's just a normal orange. It says orange and it certainly is just orange. Feels like it's not properly stirred, but it is. I mean, I've spent the last two hours stirring. And this is gold, which came from Lucas Gold. And if you want to take any advice from me, don't try it. It's lumpy as anything. I put it in and I had to strain this like three or four times before I got all the, the lumps and the mash out of it. And it's certainly not going to be used in any of my paintings again. So, don't bother with it. It, it looks nice now, but trust me, this was a lot of work to get it like this. You see, you're straining, you're straining, you're straining, you strain until um, you think, should I throw it away or use it? Oh, okay, so I've decided I'm going to use it. So, let's get the pillow into the middle of this. You are? Cat, if you can hear him mewing in the middle. Ah, oh, I did not put my paints in first. I'm a little bit ahead of myself, so let's go quickly through this. Um, I'm sure that won't run anywhere too fast. Well, I hope it won't. Just shows. Set your mind to it. You can do a task. Pretty quickly. Sorry, that I seem to be pouring that you're not seeing. But we really, yeah, pouring is pouring is a little 
Um, boring is boring. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, it looks like we've got a full cup here. I'm not too sure whether we need a full cup here, but let's go for it. All right, let's get all those right out of the way. And let's start pouring in the center. Ah, oh, they came all the pretty pinks. The pinks, they should be more orange, but I did I did know that that um, Arteza one was like going to show more pink than than red. Uh, I was aware, I've used it before, but um, the, sh the shine I got from it on the last one that I did was amazing. Um, it was really a lovely shine, and that's why I've actually let it come into this fire pour. So, just be careful that when you pour like this that you don't put the back of your cup into your paint I have done that like I said I'm still learning and yeah I'm learning that you don't put the back of your cup into your paint not to always move at all and I have done it Getting some really interesting, well, an, a really interesting circle. I think there's already between the gold and the black, there's some cells starting to form. Oh well. Now we're getting more of the the ochre, or is it the peach or orange? <laughs> Who knows? It's like a very much a mixture of everything. But it's it's fun to do this. It's really it's a fun pour. So you just you just enjoy yourself, you have fun, and it doesn't matter really what it's going to look like. So long as you've had fun and you are happy doing this kind of thing, go for it. I have We're getting to the end of this with the red. Okay. Oh, well, 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 what does this look like? Looks like some sort of outer rings of the moon. So, let's see. Oh, don't stick to this. What are you sticking to this for? I want as well. They stick because my... Oh. <clears throat> my um, cup hooks have got a bit of paint stuck on them. They're... I'm reusing them and and when you do that um it kind of sticks to the the um paper towels I'm trying to get this into all the corners before I just let it pour off A lot of black here yeah, still. Let's get down here. Let's get down and dirty. Hope you guys are seeing this okay with all the lights above. Okay, let it let, let it go over there and come back. Come back, come back, come back. And then I get a fist. I'm gonna oh I don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you something, holding this canvas, it's quite heavy. I'm paint weighs a ton. Okay, I'll just get to the bottom and then I'm going to pull back and then go to the other side and let it go down. Let it go down to the corner.
Yeah. I don't even want to pour these lines off. They're so gorgeous. Why am I pouring them off? Um, I don't feel like it, but I'm going to go. Okay, and in this corner here. And then backwards. Whoops. Let's go back. This is really good backwards properly. Oh, these drippings are divine. You see how nice they look under the canvas. The drippings look really gorgeous. Okay, here we go to this corner. There we go and go back. Man, it looks like a furnace exploded. Put that down. Let's just see if the corners ran over correctly or not. If they if your corners are not covered, just like take it, take the paint from the drippings and just cover the corners up and try not to get yourself into the paint because that's also pretty easy. That's it done. Okay, now you know me now guys, I take the gloves off. I cannot do anything else like um perhaps torch with gloves on. I cannot do it. They're a little dirty, but not too bad. Okay, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This does look like an inferno. So, uh, I don't even think it needs, it doesn't need torching. It's, it's going to do nothing. Um, I think everything is already here. Wow, these cells are quite amazing. It's like lacing here. And here, it looks like lacing as well. This is a little I'm wondering about. It's just red, 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 red here. Not much else that needs torching except the caps. Right here in the middle. I've got this torch quite high up. I don't want to burn the paint. Okay. Let's have a look. This is interesting it really is it's amazing look at the, the black is underneath which obviously it was i put it down as a puddle there's a tiny little piece here not covered ah just a, not even as big as the tip of my finger um, yeah let's go look at the cameras check the back's fine yeah Good. Well, peeps, what do you think? If you try one like this, I would love you to send me your pics. Send me your, your um, even if it's just a photograph, send me a photograph of what your, your um, cut paws um, did. They don't have to be in the, these colors. They could be blues and greens or browns and beiges any color try it and send me your, your photos i love looking at it i mean i i'm climbing to bed at night with my ipad and i'm looking at all the youtube artwork and it, it's really really lovely there are some really good artists out there as i mentioned before julie cuts is one as well she's very good at what she does and she does quite a variety of art Okay, I'm getting too much. I'm going to bring you back in um, 10 minutes. I doubt anything will change, but let's have a look. Welcome back to my art peeps. I don't see that much has changed since I <laughs> left you in the lurch. Here, all the cells are over the black paint and they are gorgeous. They are lacing. There's lacing everywhere. It's just too gorgeous and the cells are all nice and they're most of them are a decent shape they're round and up here we've got lacing like mad it looks like a spider's web sorry about the overhead light here let me turn it off 
So we don't get this ring. There we go. Ring is gone. But look at this. This is pretty amazing. And it goes to the yellow and then to the, the red. Now in this corner, I notice the cells have pulled. In other words, when I poured off in some direction, I didn't pull back to the center. But that's the only corner because at the bottom here, if you look, the, the cells are not stretched. They're, they're not stretched here at all. And actually, in the middle here, that's the only patch that didn't get cells. Everything else got cells as you move away from it. You can see the cells are everywhere and too beautiful. This is a lovely, lovely piece of work. I hope you guys enjoy it and watch my whole video and in the links um, where you press what the colors etc are. I've given you ratios for painting and what I've done and put into the, the paint so you can have a look and um, maybe it'll help you with your next pour. Okay guys, see you next time. Bye!